a letter in which Albert Einstein described religious beliefs as childish superstitions and the product of human weaknesses has been sold at auction in London for 170,000 pounds to a private collector. Einstein wrote the letter January 3, 1954, to philosopher Eric Gutkind, who had sent to him a copy of his book, Choose Life, The Biblical Call to Revolt. In excerpts from the letter, Einstein is quite direct regarding his views on the supernatural. Einstein wrote, I read in great detail in the last days of your book, and thank you very much for sending it to me. What especially struck me about this was this. With regard to the factual attitude to life and the human con community, we have a great deal in common. He continued, The word God is for me nothing more than the expression and product of human weaknesses, the Bible a collection of honorable but still primitive legends, which are nevertheless pretty childish. No interpretation, no matter how subtle, can, for me, change this. These subtleized interpretations are highly manifold according to their nature and have almost nothing to do with the original text. For me, the Jewish religion, like all other religions, is an incarnation of the most childish superstitions, and the Jewish people to whom I gladly belong and with whose mentality I have a deep affinity have no different quality for me than all other people. As far as my experience goes, they are also no better than other human groups, although they are protected from the worst cancers by a lack of power. Otherwise, I cannot see anything chosen about them. In general, I find it painful that you claim a privileged position and try to defend it by two walls of pride, an external one as a man and an internal one as a Jew. As a man, you claim, so to speak, a dispensation from causality otherwise accepted, as a Jew, the privilege of monotheism. But a limited causality is no longer a causality at all, as our wonderful Spinoza recognized with all incision, probably as the first one. And the animistic interpretations of the religions of nature are in principle not annulled by monopolization. With such walls, we can only attain a certain self-deception, but our moral efforts are not furthered by them. On the contrary, now that I have quite openly stated our differences in intellectual convictions, it is still quite clear to me that we are quite close to each other in essential things, such as in our evaluations of human behavior. What separates us are only intellectual props and rationalization in Freud's language. Therefore, I think we would understand each other quite well if we talked about concrete things. With friendly thanks and best wishes, yours, Albert Einstein. Theists have used Einstein's statement, God doesn't play dice, out of context and as evidence that he believed in God. Now, obviously, they're wrong to do so. Now, one cannot make a myth true by developing a more sophisticated argument, nor by quoting out of context a brilliant physicist. In the now immortal words of Christopher Hitchens, God is not great.